What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with this amazing Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Orangaroo, Trickroom Hatterene, and Torkoal. You guys know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But in my most recent Pokemon Sword and Shield video, I asked for question of the day. Would you guys rather see meta teams or off meta teams? And I got a mixed answer. I got some off meta people and I got some people who were like, yo, can you play a little bit more meta uh, teams? So I can have some more uh, teams to win on the ranked up ladder. And right here, I feel like it showcases a little bit of both. It is certainly has some meta Pokemon on it with the Calyrex, the Rillaboom, the Trick Room with the Torque but at the same time it seems a little off meta but don't worry guys I'm gonna make sure I get to all your guys's uh, comments I'm gonna make sure I use some meta teams and some off meta teams and get a great mixture of both on the channel but this is the team that we're rocking with today we're starting with Hatterene in that top left corner absolutely love that Pokemon and it is really really well at setting the trick room when it's paired with Ndidi we got magic balance as its ability life orb as items so we can do more damage with it and then we got dazzling gleam for stab expanding force for stab mystical fire for our coverage move and it can drop special attack and trick room for our final move right below it we're gonna get right into indeedy with that psychic surge and focus Ash pairs well with really any of these pokemon just really great at support and control in the battle we have expanded force for this pokemon so it can hit hard protect follow me to protect ally pokemon and helping hand to make ally pokemon do even more damage going up to that top right corner we have the one and only Robum, a top tier pokemon for this series really been just taken over i feel like it's on all of the best teams it's just so good his ability is amazing because he can control surges he hits really hard he has fake out control he can pivot he's really tanky he's just great all around seriously one of a top tier pokemon grassy surge ability assault vest as his pokemon's item and then we got the normal move set of fake out grassy guide high horsepower for coverage and you turn to pivot out Right below him is a very fun Pokemon. It's going to pair super, super well with this Ice Rider Calyrex, and that is going to be a Rangaroo. We got inner focus on this thing, so we can't be faked out or intimidated, if that even matters, considering this thing is special attacking. But then we got the Mental Herb, so we can't be taunted. Expanding Force, Taunt, Trick Room, and Instruct. And if you guys don't know what Instruct does, it is a powerful move when paired up with the right Pokemon. So a Pokemon like Calyrex, if we use Glacial Lance with it, and then use Instruct with a Rangaroo, we can use Glacial Lance two times in one turn. That is just crazy. I think this move is broken when set up, and it's just very, very amazing. Like, cannot wait to show it off to you guys. Hopefully, we get some clips of it and dominate the battles with it. Bottom left corner is going to be the heart and soul of this team, and that is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex. You guys already know the deal with this Pokemon. Super, super strong. Great in this series. Really, really well in the Trick Room as well. Has the As One ability, so it has Unnerve and Chilling Nay. And then we got the White Herb as item, so its stats can't be lowered. Glacial Lance for our big stab damage, Close Combat for a coverage move, Icicle Spear for another big stab damage move, and Trick Room for our final move. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Torkoal. Love this Pokemon, really, really strong in the Trick Room as well. Got the Drought, so we get Weather Control for the squad, Choice Spec, so we can choice into one move, do a lot more damage, and then we got Eruption, Solar Beam, Earth Power, and Overheat. But yeah, this team is actually crazy with the Trick Rooms. We have three Pokemon that can set up a Trick Room. So if we can't set up a Trick Room, we're definitely losing. But if we can, I feel like we have a huge chance to win the battles. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto this ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex, Orangaroo, and Torkoal Trick Room team. I just realized this, ladies and gentlemen, it is a brand new season for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which means we are back in the Great Ball tier, sitting at 0-0, zero and, zero, and looking for our first win for the new season. We're going up against an Eternatus team, alongside with Suicune, probably Rock and Tailwind on that, the Incineroar Rillaboom combo, then he has Celestial, who's great at the stall back end game, and Michelle, who is a solid lead for Fake Out. Um, and it has doesn't have Quick Guard, and may, maybe Wide Guard as well. I think it's definitely Rock and Wide Guard, but... I gotta rock into a trick room here. Definitely gotta do that. Uh, probably go in DD and had a ring combo just to block out the fake outs with the surge. I think it's definitely our play. Um, who is slower? It's gotta be the DD, right? DD is rather slow with 81. I mean, how fast is our ball? Dude? Let me check this. 90. Okay, yeah. So the slower Pokemon surge will happen. So I am definitely gonna rock out with DD turn one. And go had a ring. Try to get our surge in control. Gotta bring the Calyrex and then final Pokemon. Do I go Rillaboom? 
I feel like Torkoal is just going to be able to thrive so much more. Let's go Torkoal. Let's go all trick him out and get after this battle. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's grab ourselves a win for the new season. But guys, let me know for question of that. I haven't asked this yet. What are your guys' thoughts on the brand new Pokemon for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Cleaver? It is the new evolution of uh, Scyther. So now Scyther can either evolve into Cleaver, who is Rocket Bug, or Scissor, who is Steel Bug. And bro, I'm excited for this Pokemon. I'm thinking I'm going to be rocking him out on my team. It is legit like Scissor with accents. It is amazing. Cannot wait to check it out. But uh, if you guys haven't checked out that Pokemon, definitely check it out. It looks so cool. Just type in Cleaver in your websites and all that stuff, in your uh, search engines, and it's going to pop up. It is so dope. It is really so dope. But he's going to end up leading the Eternatus alongside with the, uh, alongside with the Incineroar, which I'm totally cool with. A follow me and a trick room should easily set, up, set, set us up. And we should be thriving here. We should be thriving here. I could just bring out my, my Calyrex after that. Kind of get rocking out from there. Yeah, definitely follow me. And then, you know, then I can pop out with a big expanded force if I want to. And I can. It, it will have no effect on this inward, but it will be able to just dump on the turn to no problem. So, we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Let's see. What are you going to do? You can't fake me out. I wonder what he's going to do. This should be easy trick room set up for us. But yeah, trick room is so good. Especially if you have a team who could just like set it up instantly. But he's going to instantly withdraw and go into real game. So he's going to change up our terrain, which is totally fine by me. Which is totally fine. Which I'm totally cool with. But now he can fake out if he wants to. Let's see how this one plays out. He can fake out if he wants to next turn with the real boom. And a sludge bomb is going to fly through here, so I'm cool with that all day. That's easy eats for Ndidi. And we are thriving. And we are thriving. So Trick Room is out and about. It is out and about, and I'm thinking I'm just dumping on the Eternatus with an expanded force, if I can get that off. Actually, I think I'm just going to double down into him. Because depending on who he fakes out, I have to get off damage onto it, right? So, let's just go expanded force into you, and then expanded force into you. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just see how this one plays out. I could throw out Torkoal next turn. He's just going to straight up glide here. That's going to be able to take out Ndidi, and I'm cool with that. Because now I just bring out Torkoal this turn. What do I bring out Calyrex? What do I want to do? I think Torkoal might be the better bet. He could bring out Incineroar. Let's go. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. So we drop him down, and now we pose two different threats. Like, who could he fake out? Say he brings out Incineroar. Who is he going to fake out? Who is he going to fake out? Because I'm bringing out the heat. I have Mystical Fire and Life Orb on Hannibal. It is just super, super good. And I'm going to choice spec into a move. But it's just my play. It's just my plan. The real question is, what move do I choose spec into? Even though Eruption can still do mass amount of damage. But bro, dude, Trick Room is so strong. Especially Trick Room teams, like, this is exactly why Trick Room teams are so strong. We set up like this, we just have Pokemon that can hit, like, absolute trucks out here. Absolute trucks. But he is going to swap into the Suicune, and I might, I might go into the Solar Beam. Do I Solar Beam and just dump on that thing? He's not going to fake me out. He can't fake me out. At this point, I'm just going to drop an Eruption. Might as well, right? Might as well drop a big old eruption. And then at the same time, I could go into a Dazzling Gleam. Or do I just expand it Force? Expand it Force will probably do more damage this weekend. So we're going to expand it Force over onto the uh, Suicune. Even though we don't have terrain, we still should be fine. And the Glide is going to fly out here. That's totally fine. That's easy eats for Hatterene. And we can say bye bye to Rillaboom easily. And probably bye bye to Suicune. Maybe. I don't know. Might be able to eat up this eruption. It is pretty tanky. But yo, Rillaboom, get out of my game. We don't need you. We don't need you. Big old eruption coming through here. See you later, Roboom. Bring the Suicune down to basically like one shot. And now he's going to bring out Incineroar and do some damage probably over onto my Torkoal. Oh, he has some Citrus Berry. Get out of my face. Now, how many turns are left in Trick Room? That's a real question. How many turns are left in Trick Room? And a Snarl is coming out of here. He's snarling on me. How dare you? How dare you? It does have Fake Out ready to rock. He does have Fake Out ready to rock. I'm hoping that this eruption is able to actually take out this last week in here. Actually, probably not. He's going to fake out one of my dudes. I'm not having it. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> not a fan of it. So when Cinderella comes out here, he has fake out ready to rock. Intimidate is going to come out here, but Intimidate is going to do nothing. And what I'm really worried about here is uh, the Trick Room ending. So how many turns is left in this Trick Room? I really have to check this one out. We have two. Do I swap out the Torkoal now? 
I think I do swap out the Torkoal now. Actually, Hatterene's just gonna go down, I think. But I think I 100% swapped the Torkoal into Calyrex here. And then just go into maybe like a Gleam or something. Because we need this extra turn for the Trick Room. We definitely need this extra turn for the Trick Room with our Calyrex. Because if we run out of Trick Room, he can just Flare Blitz me down in this heat and absolutely dump on me. But again, I really doubt he's going for a Flare Blitz into my Torkoal here. But I think we should be thriving. I think we should be thriving. As one and Unnerved comes out, so the boy cannot eat a berry. Fake Out's going to fly, and I'm cool with that turn. Totally cool with that turn. Our Choice Spec does reset on our Torkoal. And our, uh, we have one turn in Trick Room here, which is huge. But Big old Gleam's going to be able to do some nice damage. And I think Suicune's just going to take out my uh, Hatterene. She's going to Snarl. I'm cool with that. I actually hope that takes out Hatterene. It does. Okay, cool. Totally with this. One more turn left in Trick Room. I can change up my uh, my Choice Spec, which I'm probably just going to change into uh, an Earth Power. And I think we should be thriving. I think we should be thriving. Here. An Earth Power Choice Spec. I think it should be able to be really, really nice. White Herb's going to pop, but it doesn't really matter. It was special attacking. I think we're all physical, right? Yeah, we're all physical here. We got close combat and glacial lance. We don't play around here. All right, let's bring out my main man, Torkoal. This, this is only problem. Like, Trick Room teams dominate. They're so good. But, like, towards the end of Trick Room, that's when you got to start playing. That's when you're like, all right. Got to start playing this one out. But I know Instant War is not Rock and Protect at all. Could you go into close combat? Go into glacial lance. But close combat is definitely going to be my move. And I think I'm just going to take out Suicune. I think I'm just going to take out Suicune and just drop an Earth Power into this thing. That's definitely my play. Suicune might be Rock and Protect, but I know Incineroar isn't. Earth Power comes out here. That might be able to take out, right? Oh my lord, a free Focus Ash? What do you mean? Stu legit gets a free Focus Ash. Luckily, we're able to take out Suicune. I swear, I swear. We lose this battle because it's free Focus Ash. I think we should be fine. Because Incineroar can take out my uh, Calyrex with a Flare Blitz easily, but I don't see him taking him out, taking out my Torkoal in one shot. Flare Blitz going to fly through here. I buy Calyrex. Yep. All day. All day. Especially with that defense drop. And I, I, th I think we're sitting pretty here. I think we're sitting real pretty. Oh, he's going to take recoil damage. That's GG's. That's GG's, yo. Free focus ads. I would have been upset if we lost that one. But that is how we start off the brand new season with a W. Let's hop into a second and look to go back to back. Uh, Guys, I think that this guy hit the wrong button. I think this guy meant to go into ranked single battles. But he went into ranked double battles. But hey. We're going to give him a whooping. We're going to put on a show for him and let him know that this ain't acceptable here. This is not acceptable to rock out with this team in ranked double battles. It just has no, no potential to it. it. has no potential to it. We are going to rock out a Ranguru and Calyrex turn one. We're going to rock out with that. Just obstruct. Get after it that way. And then we're going to bring Real Boom in the back end. And then final Pokemon. I think we're going to go Torx. I think we're going to go Torkoal here. Yeah, let's go, Torkoal. Let's get after it, yo. Let's win their first or our second battle here. Look to go back to back. But, dude, that team is actually looking really good for single battles, in my opinion. You got that Toxic Pack. Like, you all, that's all you need in single battles. That's why I really don't like single battles as much as I used to. Like, when I first started playing, I used to love single battles. But it gets to be so boring considering it's the same Pokemon. Like, you'll see a lot of Ferrothorns. You will see a lot of Toxic Pack. I bet you, you see a lot of Earth Boost nowadays because they just hit through Protects. But that's really the name of the game is, like, Protect. Protect and Soul Out in singles. It's just definitely not as fun as doubles. Doubles is just where it's at. But we got the as one. We're definitely setting up a trick room here. A lovely, a lovely little trick room. A lovely trick room. Go trick room here. And then go into which close combat. I think I should. I think I just drop a close combat and dump on this thing. That's why I wish we did have protect. It would be awesome. He's going to rock out with Dark Pulse over on the Rangaroo. That's easy eats. Man, dude, I missed Rowdown. We haven't used him in forever. He's going to seed me. He is going to seed me. But, yo, the Rowdown hasn't been used in forever. Ever since Dynamax is gone, I just never see the Rowdown anymore. But, hey, get out my face. I ain't dealing with you, man. It's probably this kid's, like, first time playing Rack Double Battles. And we're just going to... He's going up against Jeans. <laughs> he's going up against me who's been playing for so long now. Many hours into this game. There's our White Herb. Our stats return to normal. We are seated, but it's all good. It is all good. We're just going to drop a double Glacial Lance and kind of just put on a show for him here. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> poor kid. Yo, poor kid, man. <laughs> He's like, hey, maybe I should give Rank Double Battles try. It might be fun. It might be fun. Hopefully, I grab a win in my first one. Nah, yo, you're going up against Jeans because Jeans is uh, late to the party on the season reset. But we're going to instruct Calyrex. I think Calyrex is definitely slower. 
Let's so say this team should be set up that way, right? This team should definitely be set up this way. 60-30-60. Yep, 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 yep. So we are going to destruct the Cali. And then we're just going to drop our very, very strong move of Glacial Plants. There's no way this dude's rocking wide guard, right? He's going to protect. I'm cool with it. I don't mind. I don't mind one bit. And a strength sap. This thing's slower than me. And he strength sap. Me. All right, I'll give him that play. I'll give him that all day. What a play. What a play. Glacial Lance coming out here. Gets blocked. He strength saps me. Here's a Glacial Lance. Getting off some damage. And what he doesn't know is there's another one coming right after this one. There's another one coming at, right after this one. Instruct. Do it again. Glacial Lance comes out. And just to let him know, there's going to be two more coming after this. I can't believe he dropped my attack. That bloody biscuit. The Corsola is annoying, though. Very, very annoying. Bang. <laughs> and I'm seated, man. I'm seated. Leave me alone. I think he's just going to stress at me again. I would love to protect, but... I mean, we could taunt this thing. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to taunt, and I might swap with the Torkoal. I want to play this one smart. I could just keep going, but he's just going to strength at me again. At this point, I'm just going to swap into Torkoal. And taunt this thing, just so I can drop eruptions. Yeah, you, yeah, you think your strength sap going to work? Is that your little last hope there? He's, he's lucky at strength sap. You going to do it again, just get some HP back. But I'm going to say, hey, no more of that. I'm going to give him the taunt. I'm going to give him the hands. Right? Strength sap's got to come out here. And he's swapping the Ludicolo. Cola. I'm cool with that all day. And Pex is coming out. I do have Solar Beam on this thing. Trent Sap's gonna fly through here. That's totally fine. Take my physical attack. Take my physical attack away from me. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. But you do get a bunch of HP back. Tall's gonna come out here and say, hey, none of that. None of that. We're not having it anymore. We're not having that anymore. And then I'm just gonna go for Expanding Force over into you. Be able to get some big damage. And I might just Earth Power. Let's just double down. What should I go into? I could go into an eruption. Eruption could be pretty good here. I say we do go into an eruption, especially up against this Corsola, man. It's so annoying. Wide guard coming out of here. This thing's rocking a wide guard, man. <laughs> this dude's rocking wide guard. He's putting up a fight. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Nightshade's going to fly through. That's his only hitting move. He's going to hit up on my Torkoal. I might swap my Torkoal now. And expanded force is gonna fly through here. Luckily, it's singular move because we don't have the terrain. We get off some nice, lovely damage. But we are gonna fight here. We're gonna go for another expanded force. I might swap. I might swap back into Calyrex. Is that wait? How many turns left in Trick Room? One. I could go into another eruption. Hmm. I go into another eruption. We are. We're just going to drop another eruption. We are just going to drop another eruption. And he is going to swap into Ludicolo. I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with. He's probably going to drop it yet another Nightshade onto me. Eruption 5 series. It's not going to do as much. But it's still a decent amount. Still got to love it. Nightshade's going to fly through here. And he's going to hit up on my Torkoal. Not onto my poor Torkoal. Not onto my poor Torkoal. Here's my Force. Ah, doing some damage. Not too much. And this thing is going to get his little leftovers right here. His little leftovers are going to get rolling here. So he does have Fake Out ready to roll. Um, I am definitely going to drop Trick Room. And I think I'm just going to swap. Let's swap in the Roll Boom. Just in case he fakes out, I am going to swap in the Roll Boom. I just want to get my Choice Specs back. I'm going to get my Choice Specs. This guy's actually putting up a fight. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. He's putting up a fight here. I'm going to swap our Torkoal back. Bring out really, really. And if we get off Trick Room, that's awesome for us. We can still just Grassy Glide and stuff. But I can definitely see a Fake Out going into my Roll Boom all day. Or not my Roll Boom. My Orangaroo. Then I think Taunt is going to shake off onto us. Let's see what happens here. And we're just going to seed. We're just going to seed. So he's not going to be able to take out Orangaroo. He's just going to let me get off another Trick Room. Another lovely Trick Room. The Night Shade's popping. Dealing damage over there. Trick Room's out and about. And that's pretty much going to finish up this battle. That's pretty much going to finish up this battle. If he did not have Corsola strength sap it on me, we would have easily just ripped into him with two Glacial Lances, probably taken out both those dudes, and kind of just rolled out from there. And just rolled out from there. It would have been the quickest battle ever. But hey, strength sap coming in clutch for him. Uh, I could Grace Guy take out Ludicolo. I could hard swap. Uh, 
kind of worried about this course a little bit. Do you still taunt it? Or is the taunt going to shake here? I think it might shake. Get him, yo. Get him seeding me. Give me the lovely seeds. Let's shake off the taunt. Uh, can I just do this? Can I just do this? Can I just struck them into another grassy god? He protects. Okay, that's cool. That's fine with me. Can I just instruct them into a double glide? Just to make sure I pick up the KO. Right? Oh, no! You son of a biscuit! Dude, this damn Corsola, man. This damn Corsola. I can't stand this thing. I cannot stand this thing. <laughs> Bro, dude, this thing is giving me a tough time. <laughs> This guy's the same. I can't do anything. All right, yo. Here's our plan. Here's our plan. We double swap. We get an after this. Actually, no. We got to taunt onto the Corsola. We have to taunt onto the Corsola. Bring out the Torkoal. And I'm going to overheat on that thing. That's my plan. Dang, bro. <laughs> this was supposed to be an easy battle. Now this dude's just fighting with me. Alright, let me taunt you. Let me taunt you. Torkoal, get back out here. Yeah, Torkoal, get back out here. Ah, dang, man. Dang, Pokemon. Should I just take it out the Ludicolo? But I'm too worried about this dang Corsola. Too worried about this thing. I'm gonna overheat this thing. It's a must. It's a must. He must go. He ends up swapping into... Who's he swapping into? Oh, the Toxpec. I totally forgot about this little Pokemon. And of course, he's going to protect. You son of a biscuit. All right. He's taunting into that. I'm taunting into that. I'm overheating into that Corsa. Like I said, dude, I'm overheating into that Corsa. He needs, he needs to learn a lesson here. He needs to learn a lesson here. God dang, Strength Sap. <laughs> Not Strength Sap, yeah. Strength Sap and Leech Seed. You kidding me, yo? Dude, these single Pokemon. <laughs> these are single Pokemon. They're doing work on me. Alright, uh, no. We have to talk. No, no, no Strength Saps allowed. Give me my Overheat. Give me my Overheat. Getting after you. Choice Spec, Stab. Sing out my face. I'm not dealing with it. Probably should double down and do it. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit, dude. This thing's Alive still. He's gonna drop a toxic. He's just gonna drop a toxic. Poison me up. Mangaroo, go first. Oh, he's just gonna nightshade. Okay, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Falls can come out here. Make sure he cannot stress up. Get any more HP back. Get the Lord. Alright. Alright, now we're, this is where we're sitting here. This is where we're sitting here. We get, we're, we're, we're getting here. We're getting there. I'm not really worried about that tox spec because I still have the Robum in the back end. Once I get rid of this Corsola, it is going to be game over. I think it's Leech Seed. It has his poisons up. Very annoying, though. The tox is going to take me out probably next turn. But he protect. He, he could protect again. He could protect again. I'm probably still going to drop an Overheat into it. Even if it is going to protect. I could see a Double Protect popping out here. These dang Pokemans. These dang Pokemans. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. And this is exactly what singles is. This is exactly what singles is. So if you guys want to play singles, that's on you guys. But this is what you're going to be dealing with. Corsola, Strength Sap, and Toxapex doing all this weird stuff. It's just it's just constant. It's just constant. Ludicolo is going to fly through here. He might take a good amount of damage here. Even though we're minus on a special attack. We're still dropping a nice little overheat on this thing. I think he just takes me out from here. Special attack dropping again, and Skull's gonna fly through here. Can you go after my Torkoal? Thank you. Take him out, please. Son of a biscuit, man. Dude, take out my Torkoal, please. Take him out. Expanded Force flying through here. Too effective on this thing. He could swap out. Nice damage. Just some nice damage. Get a crit. Thank you. Thank you for the crit. We're going to get more HP back. Uh, attack spec could probably swap here. He could probably swap here. It is an option. This thing's just recovering HP. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Ah, 
man. Gotta watch out for the strength taps, man. How many turns is left in trick him out? I'm actually kind of hoping one. I'm actually kind of hoping one at this point. But dude, look how much HP this thing gets back. Getting chipped up by poison. There goes my tricker, man. I even set up another tricker. I think I just let these Pokemon go down. I think I just let these Pokemon go down here. God dang, man. God dang, dude. These dang Pokemon. Then which all talks back. Yeah, bring them back out. If I can hit up on these dudes, we can get rid of this Corsola. This could be big for us. And I think Corsola is actually slower than us. Or no, Shrensa just goes first. It ends up Ice Beaming. Can this Expanding Force please take out this Corsola? Can you take him out, please, Oranguru? Just finish this thing off for me. Yes! We did it! We finally got rid of this thing. We finally got rid of that Pokemon. That is lovely. That is lovely. Alright, Poison's gonna take out Oranguru. We got two of our Pokemon left. We have two of our Pokemon left. And yo, dude, this battle was supposed to be easy. This was supposed to be our easy battle. And of course, the Corsola coming in here, he's like, give me your attack stat, give me your health. Give me a tech stack. Give me a hell. Just keeps taking it from me and making it challenging for us. Hey, yo, we ain't losing this one. I'm telling you right now, we are not losing this battle. We are not losing this battle. I will give up on playing Pokemon if, if that's the case. This guy can have my Gene's YouTube channel if that's the case. If that's the case. We got our Surge out and about. We're sitting in the driver's seat. I might Glacial Lance if I want to drop it, if I want to send it across the field. It's whatever I want to do. And I'm going to fake out. Do I fake out? Toxapec probably. Really don't like that Pokemon. And drop a Glacial Lance. Drop an Icicle Spear. Icicle Spear's not bad here. Hmm. Drop a Glacial Lance. Fake out onto the pecs. Okay, I'm cool with that turn. I'm fine with that turn. Is he double protecting? He could. But he's not. But we do get the fake out on the pecs. Really like that. And the Glacial Lance is going to pop. And this thing has a rocky helmet. How annoying can this Pokemon be? Yo, dude, this is like the, the typical single battle thing. Rocky Helmet, Toxic, Shrensap. Sap. It's just straight stall. Rocky Helmet is going to uh, take some damage from us. Oh, it is not. That's lovely. You love to see it. Alright. Alright. I guess I think it's left there. It's just, these things just constantly get HP, man. Constantly. Constantly getting HP. Do I double down into the pecs here? I think I might double down into the pecs. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it's time to double down into the pecs. We know we can't protect. Actually, why wouldn't I just high horsepower? There's just high horsepower here. Lovely little high horsepower. Get the big damage rolling. And we're, we're doubling down into this thing. Uh, it's not very effective, so we might as well just go for a glacial lance at this point. Let's get it. Let's do it. Wide guard coming out here. Okay, he's going to block my glacial lance. But what he doesn't know is I have a big old, big old fancy. Oh, stop seeding me, bro. I have a big old high horsepower coming in. Take this thing out, please. Take it out. Oh, my lord. Ah! Can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I simply can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Oh my lord. So this thing can protect again. I think I just need to keep posing a threat on, with the Rillaboom. Just throwing Grass Glides into that slot. This battle is going on for way too long. How much time is left in that battle? This thing has Leech Seeds on me. He seeded me, man. That dang seeded me. Go for this glide. Glide should 100% be able to take out. You know, I'm just gonna drop an icicle spear. I'm not gonna put my defense down. I'm not gonna put my defense down. So who's protecting? No one's protecting. Cool. Breast glide flies through. Toxapec. Get out of my game. Get him out of here. So sick of that thing. So sick of it. Ice beam flying through it. I'm cool with that. Eat that up, Logan. You have a soul pass. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Icicle spear flying. Get him. Do the damage. Shoot five times to kill this thing. There you go. There's two. Give me three. Come on. More. Yeah, give me a fourth. Come on, man. You're better than that. You're better than that. All right. We finally got it down to this. 
After the, all that stalling, after all the most annoying moves ever, we finally got it down to this. We finally got it down to this. Bro, now, now you see what I'm talking about? How annoying this game can get sometimes? It's like this guy really, really hops on. He really hops on to use Strength Sap, Toxic, and Leech Seed. Like, that's no fun. That is not fun. I just don't understand. It's not fun. Not fun one bit. We now Grace got over on this thing. And I think... Am I going to Lance? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just finish the battle. Let's just finish the battle. Cancel battle. Do it. Cancel battle. Protect. Oh, I forgot. I forgot protect, guys. It's protect glacial or it's protect leech seed toxic and strength set. Those are the moves used. Three minutes back left. We have plenty of time. Jeez, bro. He's like, he's just this thing's just farming HP. It's just farming HP. I mean, we get HP too, so I can get, I can get with it. I can get with it. Leech seed. Surge and leftovers. You're not winning. You're not winning. You and your coconut sombrero pineapple hat. Whatever that thing is, Ludicolo. You're not winning. I won't allow it. I will not allow it. Will not allow this. Grass guy flying through. Thank you. Glacial Lance. Finish this one up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get this dude out of here. I'll give him a round of applause, yo. Put up a big fight. Put up a big fight with this team right here. But dude, it was like. It was inches away from just being like a three-turn battle. If he did not have that Corsa with the Strength Sap, we were double Glacial Lancing and taking out both his Pokemon instantly. Instantly. It would have been game over. It would have been game over from there. But long, hard-fought battle. We go 2-0. and We're hopping into our third. That last battle was way too long. Way too long. That was absurd. Luckily, we were able to still catch ourselves that win and go back-to-back. -back. So now we're sitting at 2-0 and, and looking for a perfect record to get this season started. But we're going up against a very... Very strong team right here. He has the Charizard, the Venusaur, the Groudon drop combo. Very, very strong. And then he also has the Moongus, the Sableye, who has weather control. He can fake out. He has Quash. Then he has Braviary, who hits like a truck and can set up a Tailwind. So it's a must to uh, get the Trick Room started. It's a must for us to get Trick Room started. I mean, he can go into double hitting moves. If he goes into Charizard and Groudon turn one, I kind of just lose this one. Because then I cannot set up a Trick Room. But I'm trying to think of a way I can set up a Trick Room. Hmm. What do I do? I go Ndidi Oranguru? I might go Ndidi Oranguru just to guarantee the Trick Room setup, right? That would be a bit better because our defense is just through the roof here. I might just do that. Let me back out with these two. Then bring my Calyrex, and then if he wants to play Drought Game, we play Torkoal. Yeah, I don't think Hatterene's like need it here. I just think we need to play a Ranguru because he would be able to eat up a lot more than the Hatterene would. So I think it's a must to bring in the Ranguru. Because if he goes into double hitting moves, Hatterene's obviously dead. If he goes into two double hitting moves, a Ranguru has a chance of eating up and surviving and setting up the Trick Room. There's a shot. There's a shot here for us. We just need to get this Trick Room out and about. He's going to go Venusaur and charge. Sure, I'm totally good with that. He can't sleep powder. I'm just going to have to follow me, set up this Trick Room easily, and kind of go off from there. He's probably going to put me to sleep. 100% gonna put me to sleep, but still. But still, we shall be fine. Shall be fine. Unless he's rocking Sludge Wave. But I doubt he's rocking Sludge Wave. I really don't think he is. So follow me. Let's trick him up. Let's trick him up. Yo, he's got the shiny charge on you. Dude, I, those are absolutely one of my favorite teams to use. I don't know why. It's just so good. It is very meta. The Drought, Charizard, Venusaur combo. It's just so good. It's so good, and I think it's a lot of fun to use. But here's the heat wave coming out here. And indeed he does dodge it. I can't get down with that. I can't get down with that. And look at that. Orangaroo's just soaking up the shots. And sleep powder's gonna fly through here. And oh my god, indeed he playing dodgeball out here. Playing dodgeball out here. Can't be tamed. Now we got Trick Room out and about. We have the terrain. We're just gonna drop some hot expanding forces. Some hot expanding forces. And I mean hot. I could instruct. Instruct might have been the better play, because we probably wouldn't have been able to do more damage with Indeedy hitting over Orangaroo. But, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're just going to wrap this one up and get the perfect record for the season started. Look at that. Bang. Big old damage. Big old damage. And NDD, what are you going to do? You're going to do the same thing. Yo, both of you guys, do me a favor. Get up and get out of here. We don't need you here. We don't need you here. 
two of the strongest Pokemon getting ripped on by a little monkey sitting down with leaves and a little, I don't even know what this thing is, a bear? An Indeedy? That's exactly what it is. It's an Indeedy with croissant ears. Like, look at his ears. Looks like breakfast. Looks like tasty breakfast. God love it, yo. Amoongus is coming out of you. Get this Amoongus out of my face. Get this Amoongus out of my face. We are definitely just dropping a big old expanding force. And he brings out ground. We have Trick Room. It's GG's. Once my calorie comes out here. It is GG's. Even though he's going to spore. Even though he's going to spore, yeah. I would love to go to for an instruct, but cannot. Cannot go for an instruct. Because if he puts my one Pokemon to sleep, it is just going to shoot me over. Say he just throws in DD to sleep and I instruct, then I just waste a turn. The Ground Island's going to protect. He's obviously Sporing, like I said. We already know that's coming. Oh, Spore. Wow. Did not see that one coming. And he puts my dad. Actually, I like that he puts my Ragnar to sleep. Considering indeed he's going to hit a little bit harder than a Ragnar. Phantom Force coming out. It's going to be blocked by the Growl. And then little Pokemon Ball is going to take a nice little heavy shot here. Nice heavy shot here. Look at that. Look at that. Gotta love it. So now he's just going to Spore me again. That's totally fine. Because we're just going to try to get rid of this Amoongus. If I can get rid of this Amoongus, it's over with. Spore. Oh, indeed he couldn't go 3 for 3 on the dodges. Couldn't go 3 for 3. Well, Spore you can't dodge. Just 100%. Just so good. Spore is so good. That's why I only have a few Pokemon learning. And one of my favorite Pokemon that's learning, which is Breloom. I love Breloom, man. Blade's gonna fly where you should be able to both eat up that easily. No, we don't. We do not. <laughs> Blades is so strong. This thing could be Orb. Is he Orb or Spec? Could be one or the other. He's a Orb, okay. He is indeed Orb. Better bring out my Torx. We're gonna bring out Torkoal first. We are gonna bring out the lovely little Torkoal first. I swear, bro. If we cannot kill these things, and Blades are just ripping into me. Go for an eruption. Our lovely little eruption. We can land this. We're thriving. But I think Amoogus might be slower again. Okay, Amoogus is just going to protect. I'm with that turn all day. But at this point, I get off. Okay, he's double protecting. I think he's just trying to waste out Trick Room, but that works out better in our favor, considering it gives my Ndidi a better chance of waking up and kind of finishing off this battle. We're kind of finishing off this battle, yeah. I mean, unless Terrain ends, the Terrain end, something has to end. If you're double protecting like that, something has to end. That's what ends. Oh no. Oh no! He's gonna kill us with blades, yo. This is over with. He's gonna double down on blades, man. We need a dodge. We need a dodge here. He's gonna blade and then he's gonna blade again. We lost. That's rough. That is so rough! God dang, Amoogus. That's the only tough part. You get Trick Room Roll and Amoogus can just score up left and right. But hey, yo, 2 1 for today's video. Not too bad. Not too bad. Spore. God dang, Spore. Calyrex, gonna need you. I'm gonna need Calyrex to, like, eat up or something like that. Just maybe. I'm just hoping he can. Hey, do you think this thing's gonna go into a Fire Punch? Because if we get off this Glacial Lance, we can win this battle. Win this battle. Ah! Glacial Lance, yo, it's super effective on both. If we hit, we win, but I don't I don't see us hitting. We should eat up this Blades or Fire Punch. He's probably going into a Fire Punch. If I were him, I'd go into a Blades instead, but the Drought, it's really, you can't go wrong here. But we need a little dodge, so maybe we can, we're going to send some Sigmas. Boop, 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 boop. It worked! It worked! Yo, our signals worked! Our signals worked! <laughs> yo, how to make any Pokemon miss 101. You just send little signals. You send signals that, that make them miss. Oh my lord, that worked. That is so funny. That is so funny. We clutch it up. Signals work. We grab ourselves that perfect record. That was probably top five best moments I had playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. That was so funny. We needed to do the miss. We put up our little antennas. Sent some signals over to him. Be like, hey, you're missing that precipitous Pice Blades. Beep, 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 beep. And then he missed it, bro. He missed it, and we won the game and grabbed ourselves a perfect record. That is hilarious. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that one and maybe got a good laugh out of it. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.